hey welcome once again to the video for if you are new to this channel or if you are new to this video so please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest video so in the previous video we created an api key and in this video i'm going to show you on how to get user information uh how to get the information of the user that you created on the second video i think so if uh, you can come here to the this is where we were learning about creating api keys as you can see here there is this get you need to get user information the user that you created uh the api user that you created on the second video and this user you can get his or you can get the information of that user uh using this by using the reference id so first what we need to do uh, uh this is these are the requirements that you need in order to to get the information of the user that you created you can see if you get status zero now that's a successful response now you see uh, uh let's now come here i've already done everything that needs according to the documentation now first you need to get this reference id of which the reference id i can just access the reference id by accessing the create user here by accessing the create user so that i can access this reference id but we did a mistake here i want to rectify here uh, this is a bad format that i used so here i've include the config file it means while getting creating an api key i don't need to include the api key uh, the configs again so i just need to access them directly because they are already included in create api user so uh in order to get also the reference id because it's in the uh, create user here i will just access it on the get i'll access the reference id and the secondary key by just including the create user file here so this is how i've already accessed the create user file here the reference id and the uh, and the secondary uh variable and i've accessed it through this file which is create user so in order to test let me come here and uh, and just echo the response so that i can see if i have the data of the created user here echo so let me first do let's let me go to my browser then come here and then i'm going to click here get api key user information yeah yeah now let's reload it you see now this is what i created on the second video when i was creating an api user so see you in the next video where i'm going to talk about creating uh generating an access token